Hi there, I'm Stacy, the encaustic mixed media artist behind Studio Stacy. Encaustic literally means to burn in. So I paint with beeswax and a torch and because it's mixed media, pretty much anything else I can get my hands on. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Consider subscribing and joining this artsy community. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, which helps me get introduced to more like-minded artsy folks like yourself. Hello, I have been working on the painting behind me for the last several weeks, I think a couple weeks anyways. And so today I thought I would do a slightly different video, kind of a quick a just snippet video of the highlights of painting this. And that is because this week I've got two videos coming at you. So I've got today's video and then I'm going to release a video tomorrow, part of a hop here on YouTube. So stay tuned for that. Um, but in the meantime, let me rewind the clock and show you some snippets of painting this painting. Good morning all. The plan today is to start the underpainting of this sketch. And um, walking over to the studio today, the sun is out and the light is catching the grass in a way that I want to convey on this underpainting. So I'll insert a video here of kind of the the shadows and the lights and the darks that you can kind of get in the grass. There's just so much inspiration out there. So anyways, I'm going to I have to actually take tape off of the painting that I just finished. So I'm going to do that first and then start the underpainting of this sketch or rather this big painting <laughs> based on this sketch. That was a whole lot of ramble. Anyways, let's get to painting. All right, tape is taken off. And I think, oh, just a little drip of wax right there. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is also clean off this griddle, um, turn the griddle on, get it heated up while I'm painting the underpainting of this other panel. That way that will be ready to go because these are not anywhere near the colors that I'm doing for this painting. So gonna get that going too at the same time. Little multitasking here in the studio today. Before I start the underpainting, I have to pick out some uh, colors to use in the underpainting. So I'm just digging through my Neo Color crayons and you'll see I eventually also pull out some ink tense blocks. And um, I don't always sort through my colors as far as matching them up with the paint colors, but for some reason I was just feeling like I wanted this underpainting to be a little bit more accurate as to the encaustic paint that I'm using. So just going to swatch them out, decide on what colors to use, and then get started on the underpainting. painting is done the griddle is cleaned off and I'm switching gears today doing a little prep work for the upcoming art show um, it's still a ways away but I don't want to get myself into a panic so while this dries I'm gonna do a little prep work for that 
I'll probably put that in another video, kind of an entire video of getting ready for the art show. I think that's probably what I'll do. So um, I'm going to pick you guys back up hopefully tomorrow to um, kind of complete the underpainting, put some encaustic medium down, things like that. So um, we'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon in the studio and I got the wax turned on and I'm going to be laying down several layers of encaustic medium onto this panel today. run out of propane so I thought I'd just show you the setup in case you haven't seen it before basically I have a hose that goes up to the torch here and this hangs off of a hook down here with the propane on it and you can shut it off at this nozzle here which I will do before I unhook it and then um, you can just replace just this canister and I'll be back in business if I have a canister. I think I do. All right, good news, found a tank. So basically this hook goes on like this and the end of the hose twists on here, which I can't do it one hand and holding the camera. But then this hangs from the hook down below and um, keeps everything out of the way. So that's the basic setup anyways. All right, let me get this screwed on, put you guys down, and then get a couple more layers of wax down.
And just like that, I have one more painting in this series complete. Really happy with how it came out and some of the texture, a lot of smooth areas in this one as well. So I'm really liking it and I like those kind of faded trees into the background. You know, this area is in here along with these other trees popped out. So yeah, one more painting is done. And just to give you an idea, here was the sketch versus the painting. I'm not sure if this is gonna be the very last painting in this series or if I'm gonna do one or two more. Uh, stay tuned for that, time will tell. And again, thank you so much for coming along on this one. I know it was kind of short and sweet, but make sure you are subscribed and you hit that bell down there if you haven't done that already because I've got a new video, like I said, coming out tomorrow to this week and it's a vlog hop with nine other artists. So there's 10 of us answering some of our artsy questions. So we all got to ask a question to another artist and yeah, it should be lots of fun. So come back. I think my video comes out at 11 a.m tomorrow so yeah stay tuned and again the guys thanks so much for following along we'll talk to you soon if you like the video give it a thumbs up bye for now